Welcome to Tiny Kitchen, Big Flavor. We're getting ready to make my summer salad. Hello and good morning, lovely people. I am coming in today because I wanted to show you my go-to summer salad. And this salad, you can eat it cold or warm. I prefer it cold. So I have here like four eggs that I'm steaming, a couple of uh, Yukon potatoes, and I think this is called chayote. I'm not really sure. Is that green squash? Let me just lift this up just so that I can show you. Ouch! Not a good idea. You saw what happened to me, right? Well, you can see what it is. So I'm not gonna mess with this because I almost burned myself. And that was a dumb move in my part. So, and here on this end, I normally make this with cod, salted cod. But I think today I'm gonna make it with um, either salmon. This is canned salmon that I had done. And I think I'm gonna do this just to save myself some time. It looks like this because this one I made differently, but um, I haven't decided. In either case, you can use either fish or the fish of your choice. So I'll bring you back when I get ready to uh, put it together. Okay, so you can see. Okay, guys, so I finished peeling everything. It's nice and tender, and you want it to go through like so, and like so. So I finished peeling everything, then I'm gonna slice all of this up. I have gone ahead, I only use one of my jar of salmon, and let me just show you. I went ahead and I warmed it up, and then I have here some diced bell peppers. And I have here some diced um, shallots um, with vinegar. And then I'm going to just uh, dice everything up. And then I'll bring you back when I get ready to assemble it all, okay? All right, so we are back. I have finished uh, dicing everything or chopping it. You don't have to do it. There's no rhyme or reason. You want to mix it in between. Keep in mind that the coyote squash are very watery, so don't cut them too thin, okay? Um, and they will absorb whatever flavor you put in here. So this is roughly my bed here of my veggies, of my uh, squash and my um, potatoes. Now I'm going to put the, um, the salmon over the top, and then I'm gonna make a sauce to put it all over the top and I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, my friends, so as you can see, I arranged my eggs, I put the salmon in there. The only reason the salmon looks that color is because I have made it differently than just, I had seasoned it when I canned it. I didn't make it like just plain, so that's why it's got that color, but it is absolutely delicious. So let me move over here for a sec. So what I have here is the pan where I warmed up the salmon and i just added enough olive oil i want this to get hot because to it i'm going to be adding my vinegar and shallots and then i'm going to be adding this you know, my bell peppers and then i'm going to be adding a little bit of my seasoning mix that i make okay so now that i did this the reason you want a lot is because you want every bit of that salad to be coated okay with um with this seasoning because the potato is going to absorb most of it there you go just like this and i'm sorry because i'm holding my phone i'm not actually so all i want is to cook this down a little bit whoops i had a, a little mishap a little while ago so i'm going to do that i'm going to add some of this just because I want a little bit of extra flavor in the potato. Oh my God, I wish you guys could smell this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, then I'm gonna add the rest of my vinegar. You know, I'm gonna let it reduce a little bit before I add it to my salad, okay? And I'll show you in a minute. I do go I'm a little bit heavy on the olive oil, but that's okay. I didn't add any salt to it because the seasoning, 
the seasoning has a little bit of salt, but also the vinegar itself. So I don't want it, I didn't want to add salt. Now I'm going to add my peppers. Okay. And then once I add, I'm not gonna cook my peppers all the way because I'm gonna add this mixture straight on. Oh my Lord, it smells so delicious. Okay, and this is done. Now all I'm gonna do is drizzle this over my over my salad. And I'll, let me see if I can move it over so I can show you real quick. It doesn't help that I'm holding the phone. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can, oh my God, this is heavy. All right. So here's my plate. I just wanna show you how I'm gonna do this. See, I'm gonna go like this. See that? Like this. But, in my case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take it and actually pour it over everything, like so. See, I want everything to get. Everything, everything. And look at how lovely that looks. You guys, and there you have it. it you can eat it hot or you can eat it cold, like I said. I prefer it cold. And this salad is like spaghetti. The next day is even better because all these flavors will, um, uh, what is it, will go into your potatoes and your squash and it just, it's just an amazing, it's like a sponge. It's like your vegetables, it's like a sponge and will absorb all of that goodness seasoning. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. This salad takes me back when I was a child. It is one of my favorite salads. Enjoy.